Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, my name is Tiara Surya Maria And I am from SMI 3 Samarinda Today, I'm going to tell a story The title of my story is Education that can change the world Once upon a time, in a very dense forest There was a girl named Olivia Olivia lives with her parents. Their house is not too far from the forest. Olivia often goes to the forest secretly to play with her friends. Until one day, her parents came to catch and scold Olivia who was busy playing in the forest and not busy playing studying at home. After the incident, Olivia's parents finally decided to move to an urban area in the hope that Olivia would be busy studying there and not busy playing. In the city, Olivia studied very, very hard and won various championships until finally she managed to get a full uh, to get a full scholarship to enter the university her parents who had wanted and planned to her. In the end, Olivia graduated from university quickly. Olivia was able to get to work right away and at the start of her work. Everything went well. Until one day, Olivia gets a very big project assignment and sees place to work out of town because of Olivia's very good performance. Of course, Olivia was very happy to hear the news and share the good news with her parents. After hearing the good news, Olivia and her parents finally moved house out of town, which is a place not far from where Olivia is where Olivia will be doing her big project. Finally, Olivia visited the location of her big project. Olivia was very surprised that the location was a forest that Olivia had visited as a child to play. In the very depths of Olivia's heart, she felt pain as she wanted to displace this forest. However, in the end, Olivia shouted commandingly to the rest of the crew. Let's carry out the eviction today, Olivia said. After three days of smooth eviction, suddenly people came flocking from the forest and shouted to Olivia. How dare you affecting this forest without our permission? This forest is where we live. Here we also look for food. If there wasn't this forest, where would we live and forage for food? With a heavy heart, Sophia said, uh, Olivia said, Sorry, sir and ma'am, this forest belongs to our company, so we don't need a permit because it is the company's right to make this forest what it looks like. We plan to build buildings and housing in this forest. After hearing Olivia's words, many people from the forest protest against Olivia, but they couldn't do anything because what Olivia said was true. Finally, Olivia gave the residents two days to pack up the things that they have and leave the forest. Two days passed. And today, Olivia is ready to continue clearing the loose forest. After half of the forest has been affected smoothly, one day Olivia was surprised by the number of wild animals such as snakes, 
insects and even flying birds attacking Olivia and her crew who were working in the forest. Finally, that day, the eviction was stopped. And in the next day, how surprised again Olivia was when it was reported that many construction tools had been lost due to being dredged by the flood and some were buried because of a sudden landslide. Olivia cried when she arrived at her project site which was destroyed by landslide and floods that suddenly came. Finally, Olivia realized that the landslides and floods that suddenly came were not without reason, but because of her own doing, thinking too much about this big project to get a lot of money from it. However, Olivia has just realized that forests are the lungs of the world, and if these forests are completely removed, there, are, there will certainly be many more natural disasters and that befall humanity. The end. And that is the end of my story. And more of a little for my story is, no matter how successful or smart you are, you are not only seen by how much money you make, but also by how much you benefit to others and your empire. That's all from me. Thank you very much. And I'm hoping you, all, you guys all enjoy my video. Have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.